I, I, I loved, I loved it creating, you know, a sound palette, you know, that were, but, um, yeah, I'll listen to a song and then, uh, arrangements are the easy part. Like most people are going, okay, like, let's get this arrangement. And like that, like, I'm, after so many years of doing it, you, you, you really only listen for the anomalies because you know songs go verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, solo, mm -hmm. verse, chorus, or whatever, chorus, out. And there's only like three or four forms that pop songs or rock and roll songs take. Um, so that, that part's easy. What I'm thinking when I hear a song is like, can I create the colors, you know, for this? So it's great to have all these drums and stuff. And I'll start tuning the drums and putting tape on them or taking the tape off or, you know, creating a sound, you know, that I hear that is right for, that I think is right for the song. Mm. Right. It's a palette, really. Yeah. Colors. The snares are my main thing. I love snare drums. Would I be exaggerating it to say you turned up with 20 something snare drums? I have 30. Yeah, that's why I thought it was more than 20 this day, you know. But I don't, I don't just bring 30, I bring usually between 5 and 10 to a session. Because you change the snare, and that's probably the most, like, especially for Aussies, they, they like, mix it so loud, it's the one thing that makes all the difference, that, yeah. the biggest difference in the sound. You could just bring the snare and we'd be happy. Yeah, you change the snare and you really change the sound of the kit. The toms you hit, like, once in a while, the snare happens yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And the kick, you know, like, I'll put a pillow in, take the pillow out, put the mic inside, put the mic outside, change kick drums now, have my kit set up so that, like here, there's no, nothing mounted on the kick so we can swap it out yeah. for a different song. Because there again, the kick makes a big difference in the color.